Hello and welcome. We'd like to say thank you for being a caregiver during this time. Many people consider it a duty, calling, or even a privilege to care for a loved one who is receiving hospice care, and family caregivers are essential to hospice care at home. We understand caregiving can be both rewarding and difficult. Please know we are here to provide support to you and your loved one every step of the way. As a caregiver for a hospice patient, you have an important role of helping manage your loved one's pain. Pain is a sensation that can only be understood by the individual who's experiencing it. And in hospice, most of our patients will experience some type of pain. Pain could be described as a steady, throbbing, stabbing, aching, or pinching. It can range from mild discomfort to agony. Pain can be either short-term or long-term. Acute pain is severe and lasts for a short period of time. Chronic pain may range from mild to severe and lasts for longer periods and affects the overall daily living. Patients may not be able to communicate, but will show signs of pain. Those signs include grimacing, crying, moaning, restlessness, and or rubbing or clutching a body part. When a patient is unable to communicate, it is important to watch for these signs and give medication as prescribed. What types of pain medication does hospice physicians and nurse practitioners prescribe? Medication is based on whether the pain is mild, moderate, or severe. For mild pain, the practitioners may prescribe something mild such as Tylenol, aspirin, or ibuprofen. If these medications are not effective, an opioid may be prescribed. For more severe pain, hydrocodone or oxycodone are typically used with moderate pain and prescribed to be used every four to six hours as needed. If pain lasts day and night and requires round-the-clock medications, or if pain becomes severe, there are medications that are long-acting, such as morphine extended release, hydromorphone, or fentanyl that may be prescribed by your hospice physician or nurse practitioner. These medications are often used along with fast-acting medications, such as morphine or oxycodone, for pain experienced in between doses. If the patient is no longer swallowing or in crisis, liquid medication can be ordered for the patient. Morphine liquid or Roxanol is the most common. Morphine sulfate is safe and effective medication in treating pain in a hospice patient. Overdose should not be a concern at this point. Constipation is one of the main side effects with pain medications, and at hospice we will frequently ask about constipation and prescribe a stool softener or laxative when starting a pain medication. Nausea is a side effect that should decrease after a few days. If not, we do have medications available to help. Sleepiness is a frequent side effect that should be resolved over time, but finding the balance between comfort and alertness may be difficult. Itching is another side effect that we've seen. Please remember to report any side effects to your hospice team. We hope you've enjoyed this training video. Remember our team is available by phone 24-7. Please visit our website for more information.